Hey guys, um, I just read an article. I just broke my heart. The suicide rate is higher. This was in a uh, CDC director made a statement about the suicide rate. That's becoming a, a bigger problem than COVID. That he made this statement. Redfield, I, I, I believe his name was. He said that I believe he said in terms of July that there were more suicides than there were deaths due to coronavirus listen if you are or someone you know is wanting to withdraw feels like they have no hope doesn't know where to turn I don't know what else to tell you. I love you. If you're listening to this and you're thinking about suicide, you're thinking to end it, there's no hope, nobody loves you. I love you. Don't do it. You could end up in hell. If you don't know Jesus Christ, 1 Peter 1.3 says he's our living hope. Listen, there are people who love you. Don't believe the lies of the devil. Who says just kill yourself there's no hope you can't that is a lie from the pit of hell because my bible says the cross still stands look i almost committed suicide and the lord said wait and i waited the cross stands at witness that there is always hope because or let me say this again there's an empty tomb i've actually been there it's uh, the garden tomb in, in jerusalem there's an empty tomb there's no body that no body of Jesus Christ has been found because he rose from the dead and is seated with the Father. I beg you, in the name of Jesus Christ, God made us to grow and live. There is, there are, let's face it, there are people who care about you here on earth. Most importantly, God who created you who sent Jesus Christ, who's God in flesh, died for you. Even though we shook our fist at him, he died for us. Romans 5, for while we were yet sinners, enemies, Jesus Christ died for us. It's enough that a good man will die for us. Let alone anyone die for their enemies. But that's how God showed his great love for us. We were enemies of the cross, rebels. And Jesus said, forgive them. They don't know what they're doing. <sighs> there are people who care about you. Listen to me. I care about you. I love you. I am pr Let me, I'm going to pray right now for you. If you don't know Jesus Christ, you need to tell him, I'm sorry. I need help. I need you to save me. I can't continue with my life anymore. I give you my life, Jesus. Please do with it. I can't do it anymore. Come and be my Lord. Live inside me. Send your Holy Spirit into me that I may have your presence and that I may know what to do. You take control. Father in heaven, I just ask you. I just ask you. Thank you. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. Don't let another soul die without hearing this message. Without hearing the message that you love them, you care for them. Oh, God. Heal them, hear them, answer them, send them to, to listen to this message or any other message of anybody who is caring for them. Jesus, cry out, send them. Heal them, forgive them, make them your child. Those who are in Jesus' name, I pray. Holy Spirit, draw them to you. In Jesus' name, I pray, amen. Listen, I'm sorry for the hurt you've ever experienced. I'm sorry for what your parents have done. I'm sorry. I, as a father to, to you children or to you teens, I'm so sorry your parents never listened to you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. They didn't do it right. Please forgive them. You girls, uh, young ladies who were uh, uh, either molested, sexually assaulted, uh, taken advantage of, manipulated, allow me to be 
somebody like to stand in a place to say, I'm sorry. We are the ones who did wrong, not you. We couldn't control ourselves. We had issues. We had sin. I'm sorry. On behalf of those, please forgive us. I'm sorry we needed help. All you other, you, you wives, husbands who have lost uh, jobs, uh, careers, businesses. I'm sorry what the government did to you. I'm sorry what others have done to you. Please forgive them. They don't know what they're doing. They were ignorant. There's so much ignorance in this world and, and, and people trying to dominate others' lives. I beg you, if you're listening to this video, open your lips. The devil will work in silence. Open your lips. If the only thing you can say is, Jesus, save me, help. Get on your knees physically, like get down on your knees. Lift up your hands. Jesus, help me. I want to kill myself and I can't. I don't know what to do. Save me. He will answer. He will answer. I love you. God bless you. And I'm praying for you.